encircle you, will change your story, will elevate your brand, will brought for your needs up. Welcome to Kingdom Leaders Global Alliance. Join us as we build saints to become voices, visionaries, and vessels of God's kingdom. God bless you. Please welcome with me one of our sister Keton. She's going to be reviewing the book. Sister Keton Kurumi, please celebrate her. The novellas in Firebrand Kids series are books with great teachings that will be impactful to us. I had a really nice time going through the books and I discovered they are not books to be read casually. The Prince of Nisland. The book is about a king who got worried because he had no child. He travels to a far place to meet a sage who assured him that he will have children, but he should see them as one because the other was going to be slain at. The people rejoiced at the birth of the twins. As the, year, as the years rolled by, three little thieves were caught and were to be executed. But Prince Jeffin decided to take their place because he had compassion on them. Before he died, he pleaded with his brother to take the three little thieves in and train them to be warriors and how to be royalties. Lessons I learned from the Prince of Nisland determination. He faced many obstacles, but nothing was going to stop him from getting to his destination. King Absalom was determined to find a solution to his childlessness, and he already conditioned his mind to overcome every obstacle on his journey to Zionta. We will always meet obstacles on our way to success. Determination is one of the things that will keep you going. Faith. He assured himself that no one left Zoyinta without a solution to their problems. Faith is that thing that keeps, that makes us trust God even when there's no sign of hope. Salvation. Salvation is the act of being saved, which is what the book teaches us. The story of Prince Jeffin is a depiction of the life of Jesus. Prince Jeffin decides to die for the three little thieves who were sentenced to death, and he takes their place on the execution day. Prince Jeffin did no wrong, but he replaced people who were guilty of a crime whose wages was death. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. We could see Jesus' unconditional love in this story. This wonderful book takes us to Matthew and helps us understand the point Jesus was trying to make by dying for us on the cross. The three thieves signified man and his sinful nature. Nothing took and kept Jesus Christ on the cross rather than love. Adaptation. Adoptation. Adoption. In the story, the three little thieves were adopted into the palace, into royalty. First Peter tells us that we are a royal priesthood. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5 reminds us that we are adopted into God's family. And today we can cry out, Abba Father. Permit me to sound like my mom. <laughs> a sinner needs salvation while a saint needs transformation. The thieves were adopted into royalty, but they had to be taught the ways of the royalties. This is a way one needs to live and behave after he is saved. There is a way one needs to live and behave after he is saved. One also needs to be taught how to walk like a saint. It is our civilization. The Secrets of Nisland. Reading this book made me understand the power of praying in tongues more than ever. After King Absalom passed, the, the other twin, Prince Jeffin, became the king. They had an enemy called Jaguar, who would come to their port and cut away their gold. Jaguar terrorized the people for a while, and they lived in fear. In the Prince of Nisland, it was prophesied that the three little thieves would be the ones to save the kingdom. The three rascals became really worried, and so, and so one of them suggested they go in search of the sage who gave them an answer to King Absalom's question. Jacob set out on a journey. He meets with a sage who redirects him to a place where he meets 
with Prince Jeffin. Prince Jeffin proffers a solution which was to bring to the king, the chiefs and the leaders of the faction to learn a new language. And they will turn in, and they will in turn teach the people that this was the solution to their problem. After they learned the new language, they discovered that Jaguar no longer disturbed them. Lessons I learned from the secrets of Nisland. Tongue is like a, a cheat code. The devil cannot understand that. It is me and my father having a time out, enjoying our privacy. The Bible says that when we pray in tongues, we do not pray to any man. We pray to God. The devil cannot understand that because it is a mystery to him. Another important lesson I learned from this book is not to give up on people or write people off when God has not done that. The three thieves turned out to be the saviors of their land. I recommend this book to young children who want a deeper relationship with Christ. Thank you, Mom, and thank you, Miss Ibukun, for yielding to God and giving us these wonderful books. A round of applause for Keaton once again. All right. Okay. All right. So um, we'll be doing a review. I'll be doing a review of the Firebrand Kids series. Um, the Firebrand Parents. Yes, the Firebrand Parents. And of course, just as the name implies, this book um, is a scriptural discipleship tool um, for parenting in this 21st century. And it was scripted by the Holy Spirit himself, himself um, and he, through the revelation of scriptures, um, this book was written as a tool for all our parents. And we bless God because um, he co-authored this through his vessels, um, Lady Ibukumi, Ibukun, and our very own president, Pastor Debola Dejikurumi. Please, a round of applause for them. And we're excited to add this particular um, toolkit to the Firebrand series. We all know the Firebrand series. Who can list out the Firebrand series? Ah, uh -uh. it's like we don't have Firebrands here. No, PDK cannot be the one listing out the Firebrand series. Who can list out the Firebrand series? Okay, hey, my baby girl is the one raising her hands. All right, please. Please list it out. <laughs> she doesn't know it. She doesn't oh, no, 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 no. It's not. Okay, so aunties, aunties and uncles in the house, who can list out the Firebrand series? Firebrand, uh-huh. Louder, Firebrand, we are waking. Firebrand, Forerunner, uh-huh. Firebrand, Firebrand, Prayer Journal, uh-huh. Firebrand devotional, exactly, 90 days devotional. And now we have the Firebrand parents. Who is excited? I know many of us parents, even those expectant parents, singles like myself, who are not yet parents, can also pick up the tool, this toolkit, and we can learn a lot. Just going through this um, particular devotional, I could see that it it's, uh, provides that uh, resource writing along the lines of um, how to raise children as end time valiant vessels and voices for God. And it starts with um, the revelation around children being end time tools for warfare. And in this book, we also had Lady Ibukum, Ibukum I'm sorry, share a story of how God caught her early. And also based on the kind of parenting she um, grew under and that resulted into who she is today. So I would employ all of our parents that as you pick up the adventures of Nisland and the book which is named The Prince of Nisland, please add this to that toolkit, Firebrand Parents. And along, alongside this, we also have the Firebrand Kids Devotional, 
but it's, it's strictly for those who will be partaking in the Young Revivalist Challenge. So if you are excited, okay, it's totally free. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I, I, um, Lady Ubuku will speak in details about the challenge in a bit. Okay, great. So once you buy, of course, the three books, Prince of Nisland, The Adventures of Nisland, and Firebrand's Parents, you'll be getting the Firebrand Kids devotional for free. And, of course, Lady Buku, and, <laughs> and, okay, I heard something here, but I can just add it as a tip, of, of, on, on, a tip or icing on the cake. So she's, she's sharing here that you'd also get to um, have the books autographed by herself and Pastor Debola Dijikurumi. So please, let's excitedly do that once we get the books launched in a bit. So who will be getting the Firebrand parents? Who will be getting? Okay, I can see parents. Yes. All right, beautiful. So let me call on Lady Buko and Pastor Debola Jerikumi as we move our heads to launch the books. We want to invite all our friends, our directors, our guest ministers, friends of the house, to just come over and see what we got here. DTB, you shouldn't be going because you're coming back. And while you're coming up, Pastor Boye Ajayi is here all the way from Global. When I talk about Global, please do it better. Let's honor him. We bless God for you, sir. My darling Olori Boye Ajayi is here. She's coming over as well. Do it better, let's honor them. I'll let my sis talk a bit about the challenge. Parents, this one is for you. To get the devotional, you have to join our three months Bible reading challenge. Your child has to be eight years and above, and she'll tell you more details. If you're getting into the challenge, by the time you're picking the three books, uh, when we confirm that you meet the criteria, we'll give you a free copy of the devotional. Praise the Lord. So the challenge is to build, to help children to, is on two levels. Number one, to help our children to build communion with the Holy, with Holy Spirit. And number two, to be evangelists and intercessors. So when they buy the book, they have to, because the book, the story books are tools. The books are story books. When they read it, they will give a classmate of theirs or anybody they want to give the book to read. And they will pray for that person. At the end of a week, there's a week, every week they will submit a, a template of who they spoke to, who they gave the book to, that they led the person to Christ, and they helped the person to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So three, is a three, the challenge is on three levels. Communion with the Holy Spirit, so, with the Holy Spirit. So when you get the devotion now, everything we did today, everything we did today, there is a way the, the devotion has helped us to help you to just go through that, that um, process. Is that clear? Then the second thing is, these story books, you will read it, then you will start giving your classmates to read. At the end of the book, any child, by the grace of God, that goes through that book, will hunger for salvation and Holy Ghost baptism. And they will even, can even lead themselves. However, you will also join the process of leading that child to salvation and Holy Ghost baptism. And it's not just talk. We are, we are going to submit. At the end of every week, you would submit your... Okay, it's the parents, yes. So it's parents that, would, that are going to register their children. I don't know how to help them. You can use Cam, uh, Cam, Cam Scanner or any app. And you just take pictures of the, per week, you take pictures of their communion from the devotional and upload it. So we're going to send you an app or a link on how you're going to do that. Then also at the end of the week, you would help the child to upload the template, a te we're going to send them a template, how the re a reporting system, how they report who they spoke to, who they gave the storybook to, how they prayed for the person. You see the templates. It's an easy process. Praise the Lord. So it is you and your, is a, as you are ready for your, for your child, know that you are committing yourself to a lot, but the child will be blessed. The child has to be above eight or even nine. The child must be able to write to fill a journal, to be able to read the Bible. And what they did today, the child should be able to uh, write 
what the child learns from the Bible. So if the child cannot read or write, the child cannot participate in the challenge. So when you buy the copies of the storybooks and the parent devotional, you apply for the challenge and you'll be notified if, because we only have 40 copies. We only have 40, I brought it from Abuja, only 40 copies. So I'm not, it's not as if we are saying this for marketing. There are only 40 copies. And once, once that copy is away, you cannot, you cannot participate in the challenge again. Is that clear? So hurry up and get your copies now. <laughs> All right, so let's rise to our feet. The moment is upon us. All right, so let's rise, let's rise, let's rise. Thank you all. All right, so we'll do a countdown in the name of the Father, the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. And we just call on Jesus, and then we unveil the books. All right, so in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, we launch the Firebrand book series in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. So we have the Prince of Nisland, Firebrand Parents, and the Secrets of Nisland. Three in one. So please, parents, as you're stepping out, it is a must have for all of our children. We have enough copies for all of our parents at the book stand. So just visit the book stand to grab your copy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, every single one who has been a part of today. So let's lift our hands as we go today. Let's lift our hands to thank Jesus for what he has done. Let's thank Jesus for what he has done. Let's thank Jesus for what he has done. Who has a song we can sing to thank Jesus? Give me a song to thank Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for everything you have. Let's thank him, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Children, do you want to lift your hands as we honor the Lord? Teenagers, do you want to lift your hands as we thank you, Lord? Let's thank the Lord. It's a crowning moment and it's what the Lord has asked us to do. Father, I declare in the name of Jesus over every child, every teenager, and every parent. In the name of Jesus over every auntie and uncle, educator, who's been a part of this, whether in person or virtually, may the blessings of Christ continue with you. I declare in the name of Jesus, these young ones are as arrows shot out of the quiver of the mighty and you will reach target for God in Jesus' name. We declare you are set apart for the glory of God in your generation. Father, for every parent, the tools and the prophetic manual unique to parent their children for destiny, thank you for laying it upon our spirits in the name of Jesus. We declare that these ones are preserved from the evil of their generation in the name of Jesus. You will go far, you will prosper, you will do mighty things for the Lord. We declare that your heart will burn for Christ early and every day of your life. Going forward from now, let an urgency of holy desire be awakened in your heart in Jesus' name. 
We anoint your teachers in school, in church, and everywhere. Even your caregivers at home. They have the mind of Christ. And they are under the influence of the Holy Spirit. They will do good to you always. And the favor of Christ will distinguish you. Lord, we commit a burden in your heart that you have shown to us concerning this assignment. Lord, we present it back to you, O God. And we pray that as a ministry and as a people, we'll continue to have your ears, to have your heart, and to, to listen out for your desires in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because as we go on into the book clubs and the challenge, as we go on into mentorship in primary and secondary schools, as we go on into the field for the sake of the kingdom, you go with us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you've heard us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you again soon. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening. We are sure you have been tremendously blessed. To connect with Kingdom Leaders Global Alliance, please visit our website, www.kingdomleadersglobal.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kingdom Leaders Global Alliance, for our video resources. And follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Kingdom Leaders Global. God bless you.